Leon, thanks for that live report. And our team coverage continues now with eyewitness accounts of that devastating fire from earlier this morning. Western Mass News reporter Amanda Callahan spoke with a worker who was inside of Armada's market when the fire broke out. I saw some smoke. I'm like, holy sugar. A fire ripped through a Longmeadow shopping plaza early Tuesday morning, destroying half a dozen businesses, including Armada's market. That's where Carmino Santinello has been the baker for the past six years. He tells Western Mass News he was downstairs working on Thanksgiving orders when suddenly he was told to get out of the store. I'm the baker. I get here early in the morning every day and I baking like crazy because Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So getting, getting everything ready and next thing you know, it was like 10 of 6 or 5 after 6, I'm not really sure. And one of the produce guys yelling and I hear, Carmen, Carmen, Carmen. And I'm like, what? And honest, I had no idea. He says he's thankful he was able to get out safely, but as for his baked goods... I had all my ovens full of stuff and the rolls and pies. I actually put some pecan pies just in the oven just, as, uh, just before this all happened. And uh, total loss now. Stinks. Western Mass News obtaining this video from a viewer who woke up to heavy smoke and flames. Next door at Bottle Shop Discount Liquors, owners are facing a similar situation. I got a call at 6.30. My brother said the bottle shop is on fire. Rob Thomas tells Western Mass News his father built this store back in 1962 when Shaker Road was only a dirt path. It's completely gone. I, I asked Jimmy, I said, what do we need to do about boarding up the bottle shop? He said, there's no bottle shop left to board up. And he's right. On. But Thomas says this isn't the end for them. The sun comes up the next day, bottle shop will be back. The Longmeadow Fire Chief says the cause and origin of the fire will take some time to determine due to the extent of the damage. Reporting in Longmeadow, Amanda Callahan, Western Mass News.